morning, people. Welcome to JT Automotive. My name is Jermaine Tetter Jones, and I'm here with my cousin Melvin. What's going on? So we've got something very exciting going on, and I don't know if you can tell right now, the car is actually being washed. Um, but we're heading over to Mercedes-Benz World in Weybridge, where Melvin is going to be doing a driving experience um, for his new car. Are you excited, Mel? I can't wait. I'm driving the GT... C, the AMG GTC yeah. today. Yeah. So if you don't know already, when you buy uh, an AMG, a lot of the time the Mercedes will invite you down to Weybridge if you live um, in the UK. They invite you to Weybridge and you can do a little track day to give you like a little driving experience. It's a way for you to get used to the car and learn about the car and how to control it, the traction, what to do with the traction on and off and everything else, the different driving modes and everything. So um, this is going to be Melvin's first experience doing it. Yeah, you've already done it. So I went on uh, and one of the experiences and I did it in the C6 and honestly it was absolutely amazing so I had to come down for this trip to you know support Melvin <laughs> support Melvin whilst he's here so when you went like what would you say was the best part of the track day? the best part of the track was the actual track so I think we did three different exercises it's just like a normal uh, floor it and break and then you do one round the skid pan which is I guess drifting pretty much that was pretty fun as well but the track itself was was very interesting and the funny thing about it is you go first and then the instructor goes afterwards and <laughs> the instructor's obviously he's quite he's quite fluent and very good with with the driving and he goes around and you're doing it and you're thinking oh yeah you know what like i feel like i did well there and everything and he takes you on a hoon and <laughs> it's a completely different experience so you're you're in for, you're in for some good stuff i'm looking forward to it yeah. so i think this experience is going to be amazing for melvin any anyways um he's going to learn a lot about this specific car the car he's going to be driving is very similar to this i think it's a little bit more powerful than this isn't it yeah yeah gtc so it's got I think the the back wheels on the GTC have steering as well. Yeah. It's, I think it's, I think that's like five fifty horsepower. Okay. In the GTC, so it's a, it's a much more powerful car. It's also slightly wider on the front as well. Okay. Apparently, so when we it's got like the flared look, arches and everything. Exactly. Okay. So it should, and I think it's more luxurious inside. Like I think it's got quilted yeah. interior and the GTC side. <laughs> all right so i should ask you what are you hoping to take from this well i want to uh learn how to is it is it launch like a takeoff you want to do launch control oh so can't wait to, i can't wait to get back in the I car now do launch control yeah and also i want to use my paddle shifts efficiently yeah because i've had paddle shifts on like the all of your cars every, yeah, and you've never used them never ever used them. so we need to be able to get the pops and bangs out of the out of the downshifts and everything else exactly. all right lovely cool and open those valves up. Try that again. Yeah. Pops straight, isn't it? Straight into the pops. Now, what what is this? Uh, this is the 4 litre V8 uh, 2 turbo. Okay. So it's the same engine as the GT within reason. They've got slightly different turbos, but okay. it's fundamentally the same. Is this faster than the GT? Uh, no, it's got about 60 horsepower less. 60 horsepower. And, it's he and it's quite a bit heavier. Yeah, just see, try and lock your thumbs in those thumb grips and keep them there. So weird, like you know, like when you go go karting, you kind yeah. of just do it instinctively. It's that sort of thing. But like you were saying, it's that direct connection to the front wheels. Yeah. You, you know, you your hands and those front wheels are just working together. You're never going to get confused and not know how much you've turned. So it's going to help your hand-eye coordination. That's it. Like Lewis Hamilton by the end of today. We can give it a try. <laughs> I don't make oh, any problems. Got home now. <laughs> used to it. It's just taking that time to feed the power down. 
you're going to take a lot longer than you think. You're still going to get to full power, mm -hmm. but see in front of us where you've got these sort of skid marks that have been laid down. Yeah. The length of those is how long you're going to take to get to full power. So you're going to start at 0%, you're going to squeeze it down, squeeze it down, squeeze it down. By the end of those skid marks, you're flat, and you're just holding it flat all the way down there. And then when I say brake, you're going to brake nice and hard just the same. Yep. Happy with that? Yep. Let's give it a try. The brakes are cold. The brakes are just, I mean, when you see them from the side, they're huge. They're massive brakes. And that's steel brakes. They're not yeah, carbon so ceramic or anything like that. So I put my foot down too. Yeah. Just a little bit too much wheel spin. You have to be really, really patient. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting excited. So we'll go around to that. That's all right. <laughs> all right, I'm going to try again. So really take your time to feed it in. That's it. A little bit more power. A little bit more power. A little bit more power. More power. More power. More power. More power. Go, 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 go. Right. There we are. So the way you do it is you put your left foot on the brake and like that, and your right foot's going to use the accelerator. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to mash the brake down as hard as you can, like full force. Yeah. You're then going to push the accelerator down as hard as you can, full force. Now, there you go, and it came up. Now, <laughs> now one of two things will happen. Yeah. It will either say, race start denied, consult owner's manual, or it will say, race start enabled. And when it's, if it says... If it says race start enabled, the rev count will come up to about three and a half, and yeah. you'll see some flashing lights here, and it's going to hold itself at three and a half. There we go, like that. So that said race start enabled. Yeah. What you're then going to do is, as soon as that comes up, you're going to hold it there for half a second, yeah. and you're going to step off the brake. <laughs> right, okay. And you're just going to keep it pinned, and it should manage the wheel spin, and give you a really good launch. Off the brake, off the brake, off the brake, that's it. Brake. Good braking. Better braking. There we go. That race start was a bad day. <laughs> I'm never doing that in my car. <laughs> and that's that, it. Will that fuck with your tyres? Yeah, you're wearing out your tyres quite a lot. You're wearing out the clutch packs quite a lot. But it's the quickest way to get it off the line. <laughs> yes. So it's a nice little feature. <laughs> Shit. And that's the lap. So as you can see, the cones kind of change here. Yeah. Like they're only here so I can kind of point to them. Yeah. So like the blue ones here are for our apex. So you want to stay tight to them the whole way through. And then you want to let the car use a bit of road to the right. And brake. That's it. And then into the right open that throttle, let the car use a bit of road over to the left, then hug the right, and then out to the left again. Stay left, all the way left, brake hard. Stay left, keep braking, and into the right. Let the car come over to the white line on the left, and brake into the right, that's it. Just hug the right. Off the power and hug the left. Just balance that little bit of power. Now off the power again. Roll back on the throttle. Aim to the double orange and brake. Hug the left. Then let it use the road to the right, out to the white line, out to the white line, brake hard. That's it. Now let the car come all the way over to the white line on the left, all the way to the left, 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 now come into the right. It helps set you up for the corner. Stay left, white line on the left the whole way. White line on the left, that's it. Brake hard, keep braking hard. Brake into the right, that's it. Really tight and twisted, there's a lot of corners yes. just coming one after the other. Hug the left nice really and tight. Your arms. So, <laughs> foot hard down on the power, off the brake, that's it. Brake. <laughs> that 
<laughs> yeah, no, I could see, I could see. <laughs> and one of the things, oh, obviously, wow. to get the fastest start, it then allows a lot more wheel spin. Yeah. The traction control is back. The traction control is still on. Yeah. But for race yeah, start, as well, to think the traction control is yeah. still on for so that. So with that off, what the hell? It's just gonna well, you're gonna uh, burn out. You imagine, you know, that was it slightly restricted. If it's all the way off, yeah. Then that's that fish tailing sensation yeah. is what you're gonna get, but ten times that. Yeah. Break. You feeling right at the back? Yeah. Over to the left. Into the right. on the right and down is on the left I'll tell you as well that's all right so we'll just leave it in this one all the way down to the bottom a little bit of power a little bit of power traffic control brakes down that's it gently over the throttle stay left up keep opening the throttle keep opening the throttle Leave it in this gear, keep going, brake. That's it, down one. In we go, little bit of power, a little bit of power, a little bit of power, brake, down one. Just balance the throttle, balance the throttle, balance the throttle, off the power, and that's it. Little bit of power again. Oh my god, you're an amazing driver. That's so 